Yo guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video is all about configuring V2Ray on HTTP injector. Before proceeding, I want to emphasize that this video is for educational purposes only. We shall not be held responsible for any misuse of the provided content. Before we begin with configuring V2Ray on HTTP injector, we first need a V2Ray saver. To get the saver, all you have to do is go to a website called SSH ocean.com there are many sites which you can create your v-ray saver from but i recommend this one once you're on the website all you have to do is select services if you are using a mobile phone the menu will be different all you have to do is select the menu bar on your top right corner then you'll be able to find services then select services after that go to the v-ray field once on the v-ray field you will have to select between the three v2ray savers i recommend that you choose between v2ray vless and v2ray serverless since the v2ray mess might not work for some countries so i recommend for you to choose between the two for the purpose of this video tutorial i'm going to just select the v2ray serverless after selecting your saver just go ahead and scroll down now you're going to choose a country it doesn't have to be your, your exact location you can choose any location which you want to set, to create the saver from so i'm going to go ahead and select singapore after selecting your location and uh, go ahead and scroll down now as you can see the savers are online and they have remaining accounts to create from before selecting before creating here you must make sure that the, your selected saver is online because if it's not online it won't allow you to create the account from it so go ahead and select any saver which is online for example i'm just going to select this one which has 20 remaining accounts and it's also online so let's go ahead and select that one after that i'm going to scroll down again here we need a username and an SNIP course. Even though the SNIP course is optional for the purpose of this video tutorial, we are going to use the SNIP course as well. So to go to do that, we, we are going to go to another tab and then search for a website called Covnet. You can either go to covnet.co.za or you can just search for Covnet on your browser. It will take you to something like this, then you're going to select where it says SNI Parkhost Generator Covnet. Once you have selected that one, you're going to scroll down and select where it says select a country. Now you're going to choose your country from the list over here. So let's go ahead and select our country. After choosing your country, scroll down and click where it says generate. Now we are going to copy one of the provided SNI. For example, I'm just going to use this SNI, but you can copy any of the provided SNI. So after that, you're going to go ahead and go back to your SSH Ocean website. Now for the username, you can put a username of your choice. It doesn't have to be the same as mine. After that, you're going to paste your SNI per course where it says SNI per course, then select, I am not a robot to verify that you are not a bot. After that, we're going to click on create now. Now scroll down, you'll be able to see something like this. As you can see, it says success. Account has been successfully created. After your account has been successfully created, you don't have to copy all of this. All you have to do is go ahead and scroll down and select this config. If you are using SNI codes, select this config. If you didn't put your SNI codes, just select this one over here. But for the purpose of this video, we are just going to select the second one. So let's go ahead and select this one. As you can see, it says copied. Now on our clipboard, we will be able to find our config there. Now let's go ahead and configure our V2Ray saver on our HTTP injector application. To do that, go to your HTTP injector application. If you don't have the application, you can download it from the Play Store or use the link provided in the video description to download the application. Once you have downloaded and opened your application, you will be greeted with a screen like this one. So in order for us to configure our V2Ray here, we first need to change our connection method from SSH to V2Ray. As you can see here, it is now under SSH. So to, to change from SSH to V2Ray, all you have to do is select 
this one over here after that you're going to change from ssh to v2ray so to do that just select v2ray forward slash x-ray now we're going to scroll down and select save after saving you're going to select the settings icon in order to import your config now after selecting your settings icon you're going to select where it says v2ray forward slash x-ray then you're going to click on this plus icon then you're going to click on paste as you can see your config has been successfully imported now you don't have to change anything here all you have to do is click on the back icon then click on back again after that you have to click on start you can click on log to see your progress as you can see vitore services has started that's how you can configure vitore on http injector in 2024 if you find this video useful please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below and of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss our upcoming videos until then take care and peace